Hi! Today, I'm going to show you how to generate a stager with Macropack in order to execute a sliver payload on a target machine. For this demo, I will use two machines. One Linux machine with sliver installed, which will be the attacking machine, and one Windows 11 machine, with the latest Kaspersky installed, which will be our target. I will be using my Sliver Machine's IP many times throughout this demo, as I am aiming to create a network connection between Sliver and our target. I will not explain Sliver here, but in the description if you need precise information. Here are the six commands I executed in order to set up my Sliver on the attacking machine. Do make sure you use your Sliver Machine's IP in these commands. I will run the jobs command in Sliver to make sure it is set up properly. Now that Sliver is set up, I will open Micropack Pro. I will select the scenario Download a shellcode from a remote URL, which is Micropack Stager, and I will populate the two URL fields. First off, make sure to match the architectures to the ports used when creating the Sliver listeners. My 32-bit listener used the 1881 port, so I will use the same here in the 32-bit field. My 64-bit listener used 18.92, so I will also use the same here. Secondly, keep in mind that the file names at the end of these addresses are not real. Sliver will send payloads depending on the given port, and not the given file name, so this file does not need to exist anywhere. Do make sure to end the addresses with this extension by default, or Sliver will not send anything. You can also configure other extensions to work in Sliver's configuration. Now that my inputs are properly set up, I will tell Macropack that I want to generate a HTA payload. I will also specify that I want this HTA file to be contained in a zip archive, itself embedded inside of a HTML file. I will now go to the next screen to set up the generated payloads options. Some options are already on by default, like the obfuscation of forms, names, and strings within the HTA file. Many options are available depending on what you are trying to accomplish. The shellcode launch method, for example, allows you to determine the specific way the shellcode is launched. You could also limit the execution of the payload to a domain or a parent domain. And you could set up the expiration date of the payload, rendering it useless after a certain time. Here, since we need to establish a persistent, never-ending connection, I will enable the keep alive option which will ensure the payload stays running in the background. In order to help you automate the usage of Macropack, we, at all times, show you the command line equivalent to the options you have set up in the interface, being able to copy the command with a simple click. Now, I will generate my payload. My payload has been generated. I will transfer it manually to my target VM, here using shared folders. Before running it, you will notice that I have the latest version of Kaspersky as of the date of this video running and ready to alert me of any suspicious behavior. I will now open my HTML file using a browser, which will make it download the embedded zip archive. I will open the zip archive, and I will now execute my payload. And after about a few seconds, Sliver has now picked up on a new session, meaning my payload works, and neither its extraction or execution was detected. I can now access my target machine within Sliver, its informations, and its files. Let's go back to the first screen. Let's say that this time, I want to generate a Windows scripts file payload without any container. And let's say that this time, my target machine uses Windows Defender. I will go to the Options page, and we'll look at my list of bypass profiles. For the Kaspersky test, the options provided in the default profile were sufficient to avoid detection. But here, I want to minimize detection risk for Defender specifically, so I will select the Defender Bypass profile. Let's also say I would like to display a fake PDF extension on my file. I will scroll to the bottom of the page, and set the fake extension there. I will now generate my payload. I will transfer it to a new machine that has Windows Defender running, and I will start it. And after a few seconds, Sliver has picked up on a new session, and this without Windows Defender raising any alert. I can now access my target machine within Sliver. Thank you for watching this demo. You can check the description for explanations and informations about Sliver, the commands we used, and where to obtain it. 
You can also visit mailiskit.com if you are considering obtaining Macropack, and you can follow our Twitter and LinkedIn for news and updates about what we do. See you next time!